How do you do, my friends, abundantly everywhere, boys and girls and teachers and people and mothers and fathers and singers and electron microscopists and others? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and we are doing business with a stick. Imagine. Here is a stick which I handle as follows. I imagine it is hinged here and falling here. So, somebody says, what are you going to make of that, Professor? I'm going to make of that a very difficult problem. Let me put a block on the end of the stick, and let me release the whole thing. And you saw the block fell with the same acceleration as the stick. But now let me hinge the stick as before, and I ask you to watch sharply, because it is difficult to see I say the end of the stick ran away from the block, and no one would believe that, but I'm going to prove it. I'm going to have a hinge stick with a hinge there, as was my finger, and I'm going to have a little cup put there, the dimensions I won't worry you about, and then I'm going to put a ball on the end of the cup, uh, on the end of the stick, and then I'm going to prop this up with a prop at some certain angle. Now, as I say, I'm not worrying you about the dimensions. The large-scale evidence will suffice. I am suddenly going to remove this prop. Zip! And the stick, of course, falls down like that. The cup is fixed to the stick and finds itself there. And then what do we find? Ho, ho, ho! We find, well, I've got to have the cup a little bigger, I guess, for this picture. We find the ball in the cup. And if the ball is found in the cup, then it is clear that the end of the stick must have run away from the ball. <coughs> <coughs> no hurt. Let us see. Let us see. I am going to put it so, maybe so, and I'm going to put the ball so. And now I say that if I have provided nature with her necessary requirements, the ball will be found in the cup. But supposing it is not, then you're going to say the experiment has failed. I do not allow that. Experiments don't fail. Nature has not had her requirements fulfilled. But let's try it. Oh, it was in there, but it bounced out. No damage done. I shall do it again. It should have lodged in there and stayed. And I assure you, if uh, things were better equipped, it would. Well, it was in there, but bounced out. Are you not all agreed? It is so. And what have we proved? That the end of the stick ran away from the ball which is a most extraordinary thing to contemplate. And how could you observe this somewhere? Answer. Consider the falling down of a tall chimney. And if one is on the verge of doing that, watch it. It will reveal some of the truth we have encountered here. I'm going to try this once more, but the bouncing is a little bad for us. Yet I say, the ball is found in the cup. Yes. Yes. So who would believe that anything could have an acceleration greater than free fall? Now, I am a persistent creature. And I'm going to see if I can't do this and have it come out right. No, I can't, because the floor is not level. And you see, I was sufficiently agonized to try it repeatedly for the purpose of revealing to you that if nature does not have her requirements completely and totally properly fulfilled, she will do what she wants to do, not what I ask her to do. And I thank you for watching.